Hi guys, today I am going to film like an overview of my makeup collection. Um, I would say uh, it's my makeup, in well yeah, it's my makeup infantry. I'm going to go through it sort of section by section. Uh, just to, yeah, because I've been watching lots of like makeup inventories recently and I like them. So I'm going to do one too. So these are my primers. Um, I have the Nivea. Uh, Express Hydration Primer in Normal to Dry. I have the Simple Illuminating uh, thing. I think it's technically a moisturiser, but I use it as a primer. Got the Wild About Beauty, um, what's this called? Golden Skin Glow, which I got in a birch box this month. Uh, I have a Malibu um, face cream. SPF, SPF 50. Um, I have some samples. I've got um, a sample of Benefits Professional. Uh, this uh, Gerda Spillman. Is it Hydro Pearls? I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Uh, and this Bare Minerals. Uh, biolucent thing and then two other primers I've got are the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro and the Maybelline Baby Skin. So those are my primers. Um, forgot to say when it comes to the numbers I have them on a spreadsheet on my computer. I don't have them to hand right now. Um, I might, I'll put like a caption up of my numbers of things. Uh, so these are my foundations. This lid is on backwards. Uh, I've got two of them will wake me up. Uh, this is my summer colour. These two are in. So I'm not I've not used it in a little while. But this is like for ages was my favourite uh, foundation. So I've got this one that is like halfway done and this is a full one. Uh, this is my current favourite which is the Max Factor Skin Luminizer. Uh, I have the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is an N2. I have the number 7 Stay Perfect, which is also mostly done, I think. And uh, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Radiance Revealed. Which I think is not too bad numbers for a foundation, really. I think it could be a lot worse. Um, <laughs> That's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, for BB and CC creams. BB and CC creams, I've got three. I have the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream, the Rimmel BB Cream, this is the original one, and the Revolution Ultra Face Base Foundation BB Cream which is far too light for me so I use this to kind of lighten up my wake me up and stuff like that. Here is where the numbers start to get slightly more ridiculous. These are all my concealers. I don't know why I have this many concealers but I do. So I've got the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer, uh, Benefit Erase Paste, Bare Minerals Beesk and these are like my illuminating ones. I've got the uh, collection Illuminating Touch, the Makeup Revolution Undress Your Skin Radiance, um, the L'Oreal Touche Magique and the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. I've got two of the Maybelline Eye Razor. This one's a full one and this one is nearly out. I have them Wake Me Up. Uh, the Argan Oil one from uh, anyway, of course, I have ah, on the floor. Man down. Yeah. Uh, so I have, of course, have the collection, uh, lasting perfection, and I have this, um, makeup revolution. What's it called? The one concealer, which is like a dupe of. Benefits fake up. It's got the moisture thing on the side. Those are my concealers. These are like my fixing spray things. I've got 
the Vitamin E Body Shop Face Mist and then I've got two of the MUA Pro Base Fixing Mist one, this one's almost done and this one's a full one Mineral Foundations, I have two bare minerals I have Light and Fairly Light and I have the Collection Mineral Foundation which I much prefer to these ones these really expensive ones <laughs> and these are my powders. I have yet to find a powder, powder that I'm completely convinced on, so hence why there's a few here. I've got the Maybelline 24 hour Superstay one which lives in my bag. I've got the Revolution Press powder. Soap and Glory is one heck of a blot. Uh, MUA Pro Base Fixin' Conceal powder. NYC Smooth Skin Loose powder. And Bare Minerals mineral veil powder. So that's kind of like my bases. I shall now get my blushers and bronzers and highlights out. So now we're on blush which I'm aware is is slightly slightly a lot. <laughs> um, I like blush. You know. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move from left to right talking about my blushes. Over here we've got powder blushes. So this is a bourgeois one, this is a Nicker K that I got in a glossy box. Let's move closer actually. Yeah, so we've got bourgeois, Nicker K, L'Oreal, two natural collection, a sleek one up here, makeup revolution palette up here. Um, four Makeup Revolution blushes along here. This one is more of a bronzer colour but it's in the um, the blush section. I've got two MUA powder blushes down here and a sample of Coralista. Um, over here I've got my cream blushes. This is an MUA one. This is a sample of um, the Balm. This is uh, something, Bella Pierre, uh, it's a Makeup Revolution one, uh, I've got Makeup Revolution Fluid Blush and the HD sort of cream blushes like this, Vivid Blush Lacquers and then two of the blush sticks as well and then right at the very back I have a Makeup Revolution cream palette as well. So those are my blushes. Okay, so here's my highlighters. Um, let's put this together because that will make life easier. Um, I've got two of the MUA uh, Undress Your Skin highlighters. This is the gold one, this is the pink one. Um, I have two Makeup Revolution highlighters. This is the um, Radiant Lights in Breathe. This one, and this is the um, Goddess of Love one, uh, and this is new. This is the the Balmus Mary Luminizer, and it is beautiful, and I love it a lot, and I'm very happy I own it now. Um, and then I have some sort of cream liquidy highlights. I have. The Rimmel Wake Me Up one in Shimmering Sands. I have two little samples of Benefit High Beam and Benefit Sunbeam. And this Jelly Pong Pong. Um, this Jelly Pong Pong All of a Glow that I got in a glossy box. Um, On to bronzers. I've got two little kind of face duos. I have the Sleep Contour Kit and the e.l.f. blush contour kit in matte Fiji um, and then I have got my bronzers um, I've got Benefit Hula, NYX Taupe, this little Lord and Berry sample um, Natural Collection bronzer, the NYC Sunny bronzer and this is uh, Bare Minerals Warmth Hi everyone, uh, now I'm on to my, the eye section of my makeup collection. These are all my pencil liners. 
yes, there's too many of them. Uh, this is an MUA, what is it? Three in one extreme contour thing. Uh, it is in the cover, color auburn. Um, and that is the color I'll swatch. I've already got swatches in my hand from earlier playing around with things. That's the colour of it. Uh, I've got Barry M, Waterproof Bold Black Liner, Lord and Berry Sparkly Black Liner. Uh, Makeup Revolution All Day and All Night in the Last Laugh. Got focus. Nope. <laughs> uh, and that is that colour, gold colour. Um, I have Me 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 eyeliner in clay, which is like a dark brown. Oh no. Um, Makeup Revolution. No, Makeup Academy eyeliner in um in in berry wine, it's a kind of dark purple colour. Then I've also got my MUA in uh, rich brown. I've got Scandalized by Rimmel in nude. Elf uh, mineral eyeliner in coffee, it's just, just another dark brown. Uh, I've got a lollipops eyeliner in black. Um, I've got the black version of the All Day and All Night Makeup Revolution one. It's called Once in Too Many. So it's just a, a black colour. And then I've also got Channeling My Inner, which is a bronzy colour. I've got two natural collection, just black eyeliners, and last, of, uh, second, third, sort of, almost last, <laughs> uh, yeah, then I've got the Rimmel Scandalise in black, a grey Barry M coal pencil, and two Lord and Berry eyeliners as well. So them's eyeliners. These are my liquid felt tip and gel liners. Um, I have the 17 Super Lash Liner, the NYC Liquid Liner. I think I'm flipping over. Let's just do these ones while they're falling over. Uh, this is a Makeup Revolution Awesome Eyeliner in Waterproof. The Rimmel Scandalize, uh, what was it called? Rimmel Exaggerate. Eyeliner, if it to focus on anything. Um, natural collection, black sparkly one. Not natural collection, just collection. And the L'Oreal uh, super liner. And then gels. I've got this fashionista one, a Rimmel one, and a sleek one. Um, I've also got these two things. I've got the uh, Maybelline Less and Drama Black Shock Gel Liner and a sample of the Benefit uh, The Reveal Push Up Liner. And then more felt tips. I've got the Revolution Double Ended Thick and Thin Liner, the Sup and Glowy Super Cat Liner and two of these collection extreme ones. I've got one in black and one in brown. Now I have my brow products, um, I just have this collection clear mascara, this is brand new, um, I had an old MUA clear mascara but that was kind of all sticky so now that I've got this that's gone in the bin and this is replacing it. Um, I have the uh, Rimmel Brow This Way in dark brown and the um, Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown. Uh, I have the Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit in medium dark and that just looks like 
this. Um, I have two of these Revolution um, Ultra Aqua Brow Tints. This is dark and this is medium. Um, I have two of the Revolution um, Arch and Shape ones. One's in dark and one's in darkest. Um, I have the Soap and Glory Archery double-ended one. Oops. I have the a la carte brow pen um, I have the MUA Lux Power Brow I think it's called and the Sleek Brow Artist and then just two brow pencils this is the Body Shop one and this is the 17 one and then my brow things Mascara! Here's my little section of Benefit mascara samples. This one is Rollo Lash, the new one. I really like this actually, I got it in Elle magazine. Um, these three are, they're real. This one's not been used and this one hasn't been used either, I don't think. This one's open. Um, so I've either got them in boxes or kits or in magazines I think. And this is Bad Girl Lash which I don't think I've used. Um, and then the rest of my mascaras, I have the Bourjois Volume 1 Second Thinger uh, Waterproof. I have the Maybelline Big Eyes in Waterproof. I've kept this purely for the, uh, the wee brush for my, under, for my lower lash line. Uh, I have Makeup Revolution the Viper Mascara, I really like this. It does fall down on me, but I really like the brush. It's rather unusual. It's like all scooped and like a snake. I like it. Uh, this is the A La Carte Divine Lash, which I've had for ages, but it's still okay actually. It's It's starting to get a bit dry. But it's still okay, and this doesn't go anywhere on me. I love it. It's the only mascara I find that doesn't budge. And then this is probably my current favourite. I want them, to, I'd really like them to do a waterproof version of this. This is the Rimmel Wonderful with the Argan Oil in it. Um, I just find that it gives me loads of kind of what I want my brows, uh, eyelashes to look like. So that is that. Then. Eye primers. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution I Love Makeup eye primer in matte. It's massive. Look how giant it is. Not used it yet. It's new. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Ordinary one, Fix and Focus one in original. I think it is. Uh, yes, in original. So it's just a run of the mill one. Uh, this is the Beauty UK Eye Prime Fix. These are all kind of the same, these ones, um, and Makeup Revolution Pro Base Eye Primer, and a little sample of Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Them's my, to stop saying them's my, they are my eye primers that I have. This is my box of eye stuff, um, I suppose I'll just get stuff out. Uh, in here are crayony type things. Uh, and the like, so I have this Ico, this Ico one in smoke, ow, uh, I have three of the Rimmel scandalised ones, this one's a uh, Kate Moss one and then these two are from the regular line, it's Bullet Proof Bronze and Bad, Bullet Proof Beige and Bad Gold Bronze and this is Rose Gold. Uh, I have two of the collection ones, this is Vanilla Sky and this is Vintage Blush. These do not go anywhere once you swatch them. Um, I have two of the Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeshadow paints, uh, Rich Russet and Gold Bronze, or Golden Bronze rather. Uh, this is an incredibly old um, Rimmel Roll-On eyeshadow, which I love and I can't, kind of can't bear to get rid of, even though I've had it since high school. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I have some pigments if I find them all. These are kind of spread out because yeah, 
they, they, they go where they fit. This is a Marsk Mineral Eyeshadow in 50 Shades and this is dark grey. I've got one. Yeah, this is the dark grey colour. Um, it's new, I've not used it yet. This was in Glossy Box, I think, this month. Yeah, this is a dark grey colour. Uh, I have two Makeup Revolution ones. I have Confront, which is kind of a pinky colour, and Dynamic, I think this is. Yeah, Dynamic, which is a copper. And I have this really, really old white one, I think. It's like, I think I got it, I don't even know, as a present or from like Applejacks or something in Edinburgh. I don't know, something like that. Um, and then in pigmenty type things, I have the Makeup Revolution Awesome Foils in Rose Gold. And they also have the little Aqua Seal and little tray that comes with it. And I have uh, L'Oreal and Fallible in Amber Rush, which is beautiful. Um, oh no, knocking things over. Cream eyeshadows. Um, I have two American color tattoos. I have uh, Barely Branded, which is this, like cream color. And matte brown, which um, I've been using for my eyebrows. Uh, it's kind of like that. Um, and then I have three of the ones you can get in Britain. I have metallic pomegranate, which is like a pom pomegranate, a pomegranate color. Uh, creamy beige, which is one of the new leather effect ones. It's just kind of like a matte. Get slightly darker than my skin tone color, skin tone color, and unknown bronze, which is just this color. And then two other cream eyeshadows I have are the Bourjois 24 color edition in Petal de Glass, it's pink color, and this uh, city color, I think it is. Yeah, city color white gold, which looks that's oh, got a stopper on it, <laughs> which is, yeah, it's just a uh, gold whitey light gold colour. Uh, I have a lot of single shadows so bear with me. I've got two uh, natural collection ones. I've got milk chocolate and barley. I have this um, bourgeois one in prune intense. I don't know if they still do this one but I like it. It's not the most pigmented in the world but it is nice. Uh, I have two W7 ones. I have uh, pebble I think this is. Yeah, Pebble, which is like a champagne colour, and Kettle, Copper Kettle, which is a copper colour. I have a lot of MUA single eyeshadows, so let's do those next. Um, I have Shea, oh, this is Bronze. So bronze, this is... Champagne, which is a pretty good description of it. Most of these are. <laughs> this is copper. This one is incredibly pigmented and lovely. This is fudge, which is just like a skin toned matte colour. Uh, this one is shade 22 pearl, which is a nice light pink. Um, this one is shade 24 pearl, which is a nice purpley colour, and this one is shade 19 matte. That's what I used to do my brows with as well. Um, then I have some Makeup Revolution singles. I have Eden, which is a dark green. Uh, Insomnia, which is a dark purple. Uh, Adore Moi, which is like a mid-toned brown, uh, naive which is like this light pinky peachy colour, uh, base which is a matte sort of skin colour cream cream type thing and uh, touch me which is like a sparkly version of base. Uh, the last little couple of things single shadows I have is Rimmel one in smoky quartz. Very similar to this is that is the NYC in Brooklyn Brownstone. I have uh, 
Pangelo by Calvin Klein, which I got in the pound shop, and Elf Shadow in Sunset, which is kind of like a goldy colour, like a warm, dark goldy colour. And then I have uh, some quads and trios. I have the uh, Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette, which is lovely. I got that off eBay. Uh, I have Maybelline Eye Studio in Coral Drama, which I adore and is like look how look how much of these shadows I've used. Probably really close to hitting pan on these three. Um, I have Maybelline Big Eyes in Luminous Brown. Um, I don't know how much I use this one, but this orange colour is pretty unusual. I don't think I'll like that. So. And this one is Soap and Glowy Lid Stuff. I love this one. Uh, and what's nude? Yeah. I love that one. So that's all my eyeshadows. And that's all my eye things, in fact. Oh no, palettes. That, uh, mm, yes, palettes might take a while. <laughs> so this is my palettes. This is my only palette that's not Makeup Revolution or um, Makeup Academy. This is the Sleek Vintage Romance palette. Uh, I love these colours. Uh, pretty much what I want in an eyeshadow palette is purples and golds. Um, okay, on to the Makeup Revolution, Makeup Academy palettes even. This is the Romantic Ever... Romantic Ever Evanescence. Evanescence. Uh, I really like this I like this nude peach and yeah, it's just like maybe not the greys so much, but yeah, really nice looking palette. Uh this is the This is the Heaven and Earth palette. Uh yeah, so this is a uh, shimmery neutrals. Not much to say about it. I've not actually used that one yet because it's new. I got it just at Christmas. Uh, this is the Undress Me 2 palette, which I've used a lot because for a very long time it's my only palette. Um, this is the, the dupe of the the Naked 2 palette. I like all the kind of coppery colours and the goldy colours and like sort of these brownie colours. Yeah, I like it. Um, the MUA palettes have got a really good payment for the price point, and then these are £4 each. Uh, this is the Glamour Nights palette, which Granted, it's a bit out of my comfort zone, but that's the point of it. I wanted it to be a bit brighter and to have colours as an option if I ever wanted to wear them. Um, next, I've got the two matte palettes. This is the original matte palette, the Ever After one. Um, this is, again, £4, but it's got um, 10 shadows in it instead of 12. This shade... Um, is it? Yeah, the shade I've been I I use to fill my brows. It's just got lots of nice neutral, pale neutrals and stuff. I uh, really like that palette. And this is the new matte palette. This is the um, Winter Forest matte collection, which has got more sort of colours and warmer neutrals. And st it's still got the the truffle colour for eyebrows. And it's got a black and a grey. And yeah, I like it. And this is my last um, MEO palette. This is the Pretty Edgy palette, um, which has got the kind of rosy colours and then some mattes down here. Um, it's got a mirror, hi, and studied things on it. Um, if you hear weird noises, it's because... This thing is sitting next to me. <laughs> Say hello, Willow! Yeah, good girl, good girl. Oh, sorry. So this is my companion for the day and my helper. She's not really helping, she's just sitting looking cute. Yes, she says hello. I am wearing a dressing gown because it is very, very, very cold in my living room. <laughs> so yep, yeah, those are all my um, Makeup Academy palettes. Makeup Revolution, there's a lot. Oh no, I have one one other palette that's not Makeup Academy or Makeup Revolution or Sleek. I'll show that at the end because uh, it's under all the other ones. This, these four are the Makeup Academy I Heart Makeup 
um, gold palettes. So I have Ghost of the City, which has got a highlighter and two blushes and then eyeshadows. Uh, go the gold palette, which is blush, bronzer, highlighter, and shadows. Uh, go to Heaven, which is neutrals, and Go to Hell, which is like darker, smokier jewel tones. I haven't used them very much, so yeah, I don't have like that much of an opinion on them. This is the Disappear Till Tomorrow um, eyebrow and eyeshadow palette. Uh, I've, the shadows are quite crumbly, but I have used this a couple of times. Really nice and pigmented, and um, the dark, the brown brow shade works for me. Um, this is the Essential Matte 2. Uh, and it's just got all matte colours, nice and neutral. Haven't really used this much either. Um, I've not worn that much. And a dog cough. Willow, are you okay? Are you okay? Let's see if you can see her. There she is. Willow, come here. Oh, big stretch. Come here. Pop. Good girl. What is that going on here? What's going on? Are you saying hello? Are you just saying hello? Oh, sniffy. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's a little interlude from my dog. Uh, <laughs> this is the iconic 3 palette, which is dupe for the naked 3. I really like this palette. And this is the iconic one. I just do it for the naked one. Uh, I really like those palettes. Uh, these two are from the same line. So this is the I Heart Makeup palette, uh, the I Heart Chocolate palette even. Uh, this is the dupe for the Too Faced um, Chocolate Bar palette and I love this. It's got really nice shades in it. And it does vaguely smell of chocolate. Um, and this is the I Heart Passion palette. It's just got a heart on the front. And it's got these shades, this one and this one look really nice. Um, and it's got some purplies. Yeah, I've not used it yet either. No, that was free gift for ordering over a certain amount of money. Uh, I've got two of the Salvation palettes. I have Give Them Nightmares and What Are You Waiting For? If I can open it, I'll show you. This is um, Give Them Nightmares. This is like the Halloween palette, which is like purples and blues and greens, really nice. And this is uh, what you're waiting for, which is like a neutral palette. If I can open it, yeah, it's just kind of rosy neutrals and yep, those kind of things. And a whining dog. <laughs> uh, these two are new and um, I just got them the other day. These are the iconic Pro 1 and 2. Uh, so that this is the Pro 1 and it comes in a matte case. And those are the colours. You get a row of mattes and a row of shimmers and they look lovely. That's that one. And this is the Iconic Pro 2. Same thing, it's in the matte packaging. And uh, again, mattes and shimmers. And these ones come with brushes actually instead of sponge tip applicators, which is pretty cool. And the last palette I have is another one that's a free gift. This is the e.l.f. 100 palette. Um, can't get it in frame. <laughs> yeah, so this is the this is the e.l.f. 100 palette, which is just the big colourful palette that they do. And yeah, it's just got all the colours. Ooh, colours. So yeah, we've got that, which... I wouldn't have picked out, but because I don't have to pay for it, I'm okay with it. Yeah, those are my eye products. Hi everyone, so today I'm doing the last section of my makeup collection inventory thing. Uh, it's lip products, this is how I store them. These ones were in my handbag, that's where they're sitting there. There's a couple of other things scattered, lip balms and that scattered places. Um, my nail varnish is different because it's filmed on a different day, but ignore that. Uh, so. Let's get going. Lip balms. Uh, this is probably not the easiest way to film this, but oh well. I've got this aloe vera one I got for Christmas because I always get aloe vera lip balms from one of my aunties for Christmas. Um, I have this 
Bustex Moisture Max lip balm. I've got this raspberry balm and a mint balm in my bedroom somewhere. That is nearly run out. Um, more lip balms. Uh, I've got this new one. This is an MUA uh, Sweet Sheen lip balm in Cherry Bomb. This is a tinted lip balm like the baby lips. Speaking of baby lips. I have, I've got a normal one but that's in my handbag somewhere. I've got this one that I got from Poundlander World called, this is Antioxidant Berry. Is this clear? I haven't really used it. Uh, I have Cherry Bomb, no not Cherry Bomb, Cherry Me, which is a red one. Uh, that one's Cherry Bomb, that's what I'm confused with. I have... Uh, this one which is Pink Shock and I have uh, Striker Rose as well which is slightly less blue pink and I have a uh, Barry M Corbani in uh, Rosie Lee I think it is yep Rosie Lee I have this pixie one that I got from a glossy box or birch box this is in Honeysuckle or something like that. Honey Nectar. I don't really use it because it's a nude colour. I don't really like nudes. Uh, I have this Eco Lips one. I have a it was like Natural Lips or something. Naked Lips one. Again, these are all from boxes and stuff. I have this... No idea what this is called. Tinties? By Royal Apocryphy. The packaging is adorable. Got this in a glossy box and it's like a coral colour. Um, I have this Mika one which is like a dark red. There's a picture of that on my Instagram if you want to see what it is. I'll link that down below. I've got a Honey One Lip Butter by The Body Shop. I have two Vaselines. Uh, I have Painted Town, which is a red one, and the Rosy Lips one. And I have this little UB moisturising thing, which you can use as lip balm. I have a lip scrub, which is the Mint Jewel Lips one by Lush as well. Uh, lip glosses, seeing as they're here. Uh, I have three of these Makeup Revolution ones that I got as a free gift at Christmas. Uh, when I ordered stuff, uh, yeah, there's chibi ones, I'm not particularly excited about them. The colour is, oh, if I turn them the right way around. Touch, move a little closer, and eye to eye. Um, two more squeezy ones, or a couple more squeezy ones. This one's a Burt's Bees one, which I think I might put in my handbag just so I've got it. Because it does leave a bit of colour, it is in Pucker. And this one, which again, not used, not particularly interested in it. It's Isla Strawberries and Milkshake. And it's just like a shimmery pale pink one. A little sample of one of the Makeup Revolution I Heart Makeup Wow Glosses. And this is in No Need to Panic. It's like a nice sort of... I've got the light on because it's getting dark so you can't really tell the colour particularly well. But it's in like a nice sort of raspberry colour. Uh, I have this... Makeup Revolution Lip Lava in Firestorm, which I really like. It's like a liquid lipstick. Um, I have a Stila Lip Glaze in uh, Glamour, which is really nice. It's again sort of like a raspberry colour, slightly glittery. Um, I've got two of these little lip palettes, basically the same. This one's by Jelly Pong Pong and this one's by So Susan. I've got them in boxes and bags and like lip balm play and glossy box sort of things. Uh, lip crayony things we want to know by the looks of it. Uh, this is a number seven Poppy King one in Singing. It's got a sharpener on the top and it's just like sort of a pinky red colour. Uh, this is a Revlon Just Bitten Kiss with Balm Stain in... Um, is it going to focus? Number five, crush it's in. Let me just see if I can Um I have a couple of these 
Um, where is the other one? Primark ones, like a kind of pinky colour and a coral colour. Uh, slightly off topic, this is like a body shop lip stain in bronze shimmer or something like that, cheek and lip stain. It looks kind of this colour when uh, you put it on, but the glitter kind of fades and it's sort of like a plummy colour. I haven't really used it that much. Um, I have a So Susan Lip Dome in Black Current. It smells like sweet. It's amazing. It has like wine gums. But I've not tried it on my lips yet. This is a Lacquer & Co. Little Lips thing in Ring of Fire. So it's like a red colour. Pinky red. Um, this is a Rimmel Colour Crush in On Fire. It's like a kind of pinky corally red colour. I got that in Pound World or Land or one of them. Uh, this is a New Kid, I think it is, New Sid um, lip crayon. Are you going to focus? I don't know how to make it focus on video. And this is in like Strawberry Souffle or something. Yeah, Strawberry Souffle. Uh, that was in a magazine. This was also in a magazine, this Clinique Chubby Stick. This is something else. It's also strawberry, super strawberry. This one was broken when I got it, so. And it's got like no pigment at all. Uh, this is an accessorised one in Sweet Kiss or. Yeah, Sweet Kiss. Looks like that. Uh, this is my favourite one. This is the Bourgeois Colour Boost in Plum Russian. It's just like a sheer plum colour. It's my favourite. Uh, this is a uh, Balm Staniac lip stain thing. Again, this is a sample from Glossy Box or Birch Box or whatever it was. This is from Lip Monthly. This is a Milani lipstick in Bare Secret, which I suppose is useful to have, but I've not used yet. <laughs> and I've got three of the Makeup Academy um, Intense Kisses lip glosses. I have Stolen Kiss, which is like a darker glittery colour, like a berry colour. Uh, I have Kiss and Tell, which is like a slightly more pinky, lighter colour without the glitter in. And then this red one called Pucker Up. I like those. I've got this Beauty Bombshell gloss in Hooked. Yep, in Hooked. Are you going to show people? What you're called. No. No, I'm not focusing today. I don't know what this issue is, but yeah, this was in Lip Monthly as well. Uh, it looks like it's going to be really sticky, but it looks like a nice colour. Um, I have two tiny burrow lip glosses. I have one in Picnic in the Park. This is this normal sort of pink colour and uh, let's travel the world. It's a sort of an orangey, corally colour. Um, I have this Maybelline Colour Drama in Keep It Glassy, which I really like. Uh, it's just sort of like a dark berry, mauvey colour thing. Um, I've got a couple of Apocalypses, the glossy ones. I have Aurora, uh, which is like a coral colour. Good for summer. I have this one, which I don't know what colour it is. I think it's like Big Bang or whatever the other red colour is. I don't know. It's just sort of like a quite a dark red. It's really nice. I just don't know what colour it is because I got it. Uh, it's French. <laughs> and I got it in Pound Saver for a pound so it doesn't have the name label on it. Um, I also have one of the matte apocalypses. Uh, again, I think it doesn't have the name on it, but I think judging by the colour, this is... Um, uh, meteoric matte. It's like a berry colour. Uh, I have two of the Makeup Revolution Super Wows. Um, <laughs> colours. This one is called Call Me because it's red and I think this one is hanging on the telephone. It's like a bright pink colour. I think. I think that's the way round it is. Uh, they don't have the names on them so I can't really tell. This is an elf uh, matte lip colour in wine. It is, as the name describes, like a dark reddy colour. This is a Manhattan Soft Matte Lip Cream in 56k. Yeah, 56k, which is like a soft pinky nudie colour. 
quite like this actually, considering it's a nude. It's one of the few nudie colours I've ever found that I like wearing that vaguely suits me. This one doesn't because it's more brown. This is an Ofra uh, long lasting lip liquid lipstick in Laguna Beach. It is more sort of a beigey nude um, and it doesn't look as good on me. Uh, I have this Matador, no, Mongolia liquid lipstick matte thingy in Matador, which is like a uh, dark red. Um, it's really runny, but I've not tried it like on the lips to see how long it lasts. I've got three of the Makeup Academy um, the velvet lip lacquery things. I have Atomic, Dare, and Reckless. Reckless this is a dark red. Dare is like a, a pinky berry colour and Atomic is like a really bright orange. I didn't expect it to be that bright orange. I was <laughs> slightly surprised when I wore it for the first time. I was like, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, I have two Makeup Revolution things. I have uh, one Ultra Velour lip cream in um, All I Think About Is You and a Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lacquer in Velvet Rebel. A um, couple more sort of matte things. I have two of the Bourjois Velvet Editions. I have um, Hot Pepper and Peach Club. Um, and then I have three of the Maybelline Colour Elixir. Is that what they're called? Yeah, Colour Elixir thingies. I have Signature Scarlet. Um, Blush Essence and Rose Redefined. Yeah, Rose Redefined. These two are pretty similar. Um, they're not quite pigmented enough to show up that well on my lips, but they're nice just over like a lip liner or another lipstick or something. And the last thing before I get onto proper lipsticks is a uh, Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in Parisian Passion, which is a slightly too dark for me. Uh, but I did really like the formula, it lasted really well and stuff. Uh, over here. Okay, lipsticks. I've got two Maybelline lipsticks. Um, I have Coral Tonic, which I've used quite a lot of actually. Um, yeah, Coral Tonic, which is a bright corally colour. And Naked Brown, which I got in a glossy box, which is like a really dark brown. But when swatched, it's kind of got like a purpley edge to it, so it's not too bad. But it's a bit dark for me, I'm not that... As much as I like dark reds, I don't like sort of dark browns. I have two NYC ones. This one is in Bury Me. Uh, does this say Expert Last One? It's just like a berry colour. It's not super dark. It exists. I've not worn it on my lips yet. This uh, this one I have tried on uh, in Mocha and I don't like it. Brown does not suit me. <laughs> uh, I have this collection lipstick in... This one of the deluxe ones in Prohibition. Or Prohibition? I don't know. I really like this one. The formula is really nice and creamy on it. I've got this Model Co lipstick, Party Proof lipstick in Kitty. I haven't really worn this because it's a nude and... Uh, you now know my feelings towards nude things. I have this um, Mirabella lipstick in Heat, which is like a red colour. Uh, I have a Hikari lipstick in Cabernet, which is again it's like a really nice berry colour. You'll you'll notice a trend. <laughs> um, I have two of these natural collection lipsticks, one in uh, this is Rosebud, which is apparently not, well no there it is, Rosebud, which is like a nice sort of everyday pinky colour, with a slight amount of shimmer in it, and this one is in Raspberry, which is like my favourite one, which is really nice everyday. Uh, for me, it's sort of like a My Lips But Better colour. Uh, I have three B lipsticks. I have this one, which I think is one of the moisture ones, and this is in Tulip, which is like a corally red with some glim uh, glimmer shimmer in it uh, this one which is called Lisa which again is brown no and it's gone all weird and it was broken and yeah 
that's not been worn. And then this little mini one uh, in rose quartz, which is quite a nice colour actually. I've worn this a few times. Uh, let's do Rimmel. <laughs> I've got five Rimmel lipsticks. I've got two of the Kate ones. This one is in 31, which is a nice sort of pinky colour. I like this one. Uh, oh no, we're falling over. And this one, which is uh, 110, which everyone likes, but I don't. It's one of the matte ones, and it's like a coral colour. But I find it a bit too drying. And I have quite a lot of corals. I don't wear them. Well, I suppose it's winter, but still. Um, and then, they're not Rimmel ones. Three of the Moisture Renew ones as well. I have uh, As You Want Victoria, which is like a plummy red -y, pinky colour. Really, it, all my lipsticks, so many of my lipsticks are the same colour, it's difficult to describe them in different words. This one is Soft Coral, which is a really pale coral with some shimmer on it, I don't really wear this one that often. And this one is in Rose Passion, which is a pinky red. So many things are. Uh, I've got my MUA lipsticks, I have four. Um, I have shade two which I think is probably my favourite of them. Um, it's like a mauvey, purpley colour. Uh, it's really nice. I really like it on my lips. Um, I have uh, shade 1, which is a dark red. Um, shade, was this, 8? Yeah, shade 8, which is a similar colour, but it's got gold glitter in it. It'd be really nice for Christmas parties. If only I got invited to Christmas parties. Um, and a matte one in uh, Wild Berry, which isn't the most pigmented in the world, but is a nice colour, like a little wash of colour for sort of every day. And then I have all my Makeup Revelation ones. Uh, let's go for the £1 ones first. I have five of these. Um, I have Atomic Serpent, which is green, obviously, because you need a green lipstick in your life. Um, I have Reckless, which is like a dark red, <laughs> standard me colour. I have Atomic Ruby, which is a bright, true red, like a Hollywood red. Love that one. It's one of my favourites. Um, this is Dazzle, which is like a bright blue pink, which I really like. And this one is uh, Rebel with Cause, which is the dupe for Max Rebel, and it's like a plummy berry dark colour. I've got two of these, um, what are these, the lip hugs? Yeah, I've got uh, Keeps the Planet Spinning, which is like a movie colour quite similar to MUA shade 2 and I have uh, still missing my baby which is like a really dark brownie red like a really vampy red and then I've got two of these um, makeup geek lipsticks I've got I sold out which is a red <laughs> And um, Colour Overdose, which is a coral. And the last two are Heart Attack, which is the I Love My Lips one, which is like in a heart shaped bullet and it's got like matte colour on the outside and it's like shimmery on the inside, and that is in Heart Attack. And this I Heart My Lips in Love a Hug, which has got like a moisture balm on the outside and it's like a really soft pink. Uh, I don't have my lip liners through here because they look my eyeliners. Uh, I've got like a red one, a couple of whiny coloured ones and a clear one and a bright pink one. So it's not that exciting to see. Uh, they're like a mixture of uh, Makeup Academy, Barry Ann, that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, so that is all my lip products that I could find without having to like scour in handbags and stuff like that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part of it and uh, I don't know don't know yet whether how many parts this is going to be in 
but yeah, that was my make my lipstick collection and the end of my makeupy collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and comment and go look at other things. Obviously, you can look at other things. I'm not saying this is the only thing you can ever look at. I'm tired. <laughs> um, annoyingly, this I'm filming this like a couple of days before an elf order comes, and that also has lip things in it. Uh, but oh well. Uh, I didn't want to have to wait for it to to arrive. Just decided to film this today. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye!